important to note that you may need to op yourself on your server before you're able to run these commands. If you want to op yourself or the first player, what you need to do is type op followed by the username. From here, you can hit enter on your keyboard and it will return a message that says it made that player an operator. If you're playing on your server though, you always need to type the slash before you type the command. If you're typing it just in console, you don't need to type the slash. Once you give yourself operator status, you should be able to type and execute any of the following commands. Speaking of, if you ever want to remove operator from someone, you can type slash dop followed by the username. And now you can see, no longer an operator. If you ever want to change the game mode, what you can do is type slash game mode, followed by the type that you would like to play, such as adventure, creative, survival, and spectator. Let's go into spectator real quick. And now we can quickly change our game mode back by typing game mode creative. If you want to change your difficulty, you can do so by typing slash difficulty, followed by the mode that you would like to play. For this, let's choose peaceful. If you want to list all of the people in game, type slash list. And if you had someone else online, you could type slash tell, followed by the username that you would like to send a message to, and then followed by your message. If you ever want to stop your server immediately, but don't want to head to your panel, you can type slash stop. This will immediately and safely shut down your server. If you want to have more control over who joins your game, you can turn on whitelist by doing slash whitelist on. This means that in order for someone to join your server, they need to be added to the whitelist. And you can do that by typing slash whitelist add username. If you want to remove someone from the whitelist though, you can type slash whitelist remove followed by the username. And when you want to turn whitelist off, you can type slash whitelist off. If you have a public server or you have someone on your server who's causing issues, you can always type slash ban followed by their username. If someone has multiple accounts and they won't stop joining your server with alts, you can do slash ban dash IP. From here, if you have their IP address, which you can find in console, you can paste their IP address here and it will ban their IP from joining server. If you want to kick someone, you can do slash kick followed by the username. And then here you can type a reason. If you want to pardon or unban someone, you can do so by typing slash pardon followed by the username. You can do the same for pardon IP. If you ever want to see who's been banned on your server, you can type slash ban list. If you ever want to remove everything from someone's inventory, such as if someone's cheating, you can type slash clear followed by the username and it will clear their inventory. Moving on to player management, let's say you want to manipulate the amount of XP you give to someone. From here we can see right now, I have no XP. But if we type XP, add Patrick Fassler, 15 levels, now I'm up to 15 levels of XP. We can repeat this as much as we want. If you want to remove XP from someone, you can type slash XP, set username, zero levels. And that reset my experience to zero. You can quickly kill a misbehaving player in game by typing slash kill, followed by the username. A little morbid, but you can do that. If you want to teleport two players close to each other or teleport yourself to coordinates, you can type slash TP first username followed by the coordinates you want to go to. You could also type another username here and that would teleport me to next games. Likewise, we can type coordinates. So I'll do a thousand, zero, a thousand. If you want to enchant your item with a specific enchantment, make sure it's selected in your hand and then type slash enchant username and then the enchantment that you want. So for this, we obviously want fortune, the level three, and then we can hit enter. This will work for any enchantment and any item that takes enchantments in the game. If you want to give yourself an item and you're not in creative, you can type slash give username, the item that you would like to give someone and the amount that you would like to give it. If you want to message someone else on the server and you don't want to use the slash tell feature, you can also type slash MSG username followed by your message. If you want to display a message in chat in a different format than other messages, you can use the slash me command slash me. Hello world. This is useful if you want to announce to the world what you're doing. So you could type slash me as going to mine diamonds. It's like Twitter, but for Minecraft. If you ever want to see the seed of your world, you can do so by typing slash seed. If you want to set the time, you can do slash time, set day, midnight, night, or noon. Let's do midnight. If you want to set the weather, type slash weather, and you have the options of clear, rain, or thunder. And last but not least, let's move on to paper commands. So for this, I'll just go ahead and clear my inventory with slash clear. And for these paper and purple commands, there's really three that we need to take a look at. The first one is TPS. Type slash TPS and it will display the current ticks per second of your server. Perfect is 20. So if it's displaying 20 across the board, you're good to go. On top of that, we can do slash spark profiler start. This will start a profile of your server. Once you stop it, it will generate a report in which you can use to see how your server is performing. It's usually best to let this run for a few minutes if you actually want to create a profile of how your server is performing. Once you're done, type slash spark profiler stop.
From here, it will generate a quick link that you can click, like this, and hit yes. And now, as you can see, we have a quick performance overview of our server. And that's it. Those are the important commands that you need to know when running a Minecraft server. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us on live chat. We would be happy to help.